Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the new crop tools in Photoshop CS6. Now CS6 is not currently out yet, but there is an open beta, and if you click on the link down in the description below, you can download the new beta for free and try it out. So to get started, we're going to open up Photoshop. And the new tool that we're going to be looking at is under the crop tool. Now they did make some changes to the crop tool, but what we're going to be looking at today is the perspective crop tool, which has not been in previous versions of Photoshop as a separate tool. It has been lumped underneath the crop tool, but many users didn't know it was there, so um, they actually made it into its own tool in Photoshop CS6. Now the way this works is basically um, you can take and set your points on each of the corners of the thing that you would like to change the perspective of. So basically we're going to be cropping out this sign and changing it so that it basically acts like a normal image instead of uh, being rotated at a perspective uh, like it is right now. So what we're going to do is just select one of the corners, go down and select another one, and you can see once you've made two points you kind of get this mesh uh, that you can pan over your image. So again, you kind of want to line up that line and the corner and click and then make your last selection. Now basically you can see that it works kind of like this crop tool um, where it basically blacks out some of the other area and you can see what you are actually cropping here in full color. You have some options up here but basically once you've done that you can just click the check mark in order to make the changes. Now keep in mind this isn't always going to be 100% perfect. Um, you can see it looks like it's a little bit longer right here so you can double click on the layer as I did there. Grab your uh, selection tool turn show transform controls on and then you can take and squish or stretch this depending on um, if which direction it was off. So if we squish that in a little bit, hit the check mark, go up to image, down to trim, and then just click OK. Um, you can see that we've basically kind of fixed um, the stretching that Photoshop did when it fixed that. So if we take and go to our history, you can see the before and after. Before it's obviously within a setting and it's um, at an odd perspective and after it instantly uh, takes it and puts it into a uh, 2D plane, no perspective, straight on uh, view. So now you can also use this in other circumstances. Keep in mind um, for things that aren't like posters or signs or textures or things like that, it might uh, not work quite as well if you were trying to take a person and change their perspective just because um, it won't have as much data as it probably would need. Um, but for things like textures, um, it works also pretty great. So Again, I'm just going back to my default uh, image there, and we're going to grab the perspective crop tool again. And then I'm just going to take and say that we wanted some of this texture of the ground. You can just take out of any photo that you have now, and just take and grab this, and there you go, we've got some random texture. Click that, and now it's pretty much taken and made it into um, a flat texture that you can use for whatever you would like um, in any of your projects. So I think that's a pretty cool use that people might not... Uh, think to use the perspective crop tool for, but I think that it's going to definitely help out in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you check out that CS6 beta down in the description below. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back next week for a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.